this video might be dead in the water <laughs> if I can't figure this out. I always love when an experiment goes well. Hello! So, I have a bigger project coming up, but I am waiting on one ribbon to arrive. I knew that it was iffy with the timing, but I was just kind of crossing my fingers and hoping that it would arrive early. It did not. While we're waiting on that one ribbon to arrive, I actually had this idea like in the middle of the night and I've kind of been waiting for an opportunity to uh, use this idea. And that idea is, you probably already know what it is, but it's crocheting some kind of chain mail armor thing. Now, can it technically be called chain mail? if I'm crocheting it with wire. Probably not, but it's heavily inspired by chainmail, so that's why I'm calling it crocheted chainmail. Jewelry makers will, I believe, like knit or they'll do some kind of weaving with wire and make really pretty bracelets with them. I remember my mom doing that when I was really young. It's kind of been in my brain about how I could use that for clothing. This is just plain old experimentation, which those tend to be some of my favorite things. So you'll see me again at the end to talk about a couple of final thoughts, Wrap up thoughts, whatever. But until then, let me show you how I made these chainmail inspired pieces. Okay, so I don't know where to put my mic. This video might be dead in the water <laughs> if I can't figure this out. Here is the wire that I bought. Yeah. So this is 0.4 millimeters. I don't know how much is in here. It says five ounces. I have no clue how much it will make. I bought three of these just in case. I normally will do a little bit of pre-work before starting to film because I like to know whether <laughs> a video is going to be even like viable or not. But honestly, that's also kind of sunk me before because I have just started going and not filmed. So I thought this would be better to just start. Why, what is, why? Why am I so bad at opening things? What, what? <gasps> I got it, I got it. No, I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. Oh my gosh, that took forever. I got the smallest, also, please don't make a weird noise. I got the smallest crochet hook I possibly could. It's a two millimeter. For the pattern plan, I think what's gonna happen is I am going to kind of follow the same pattern as my crocheted Katniss cowl that I did like a month or two ago for this kind of chest piece area. And then if I can find it, because I remember taking it out of the pattern and I don't remember ever putting it back in, I have a gauntlet pattern piece that I can just use like I did for my corset that I made like forever ago. So that's the plan. Let's see if this can look okay. So I started by looping the wire around the hook and just twisting it at the end to get it to stay and then I just started making chain stitches as normal. First chain or chain, the original chain, I don't know, is done. We'll say it does take, and I'm sure I'm not even close to being like used to it yet. It does take a little getting used to. It's so much easier to like keep the tension on yarn. It is not as easy to keep the tension the same, which I think that could give it some lovely bumps. I, I love for things to be imperfect. I think that shows that you made it. And also apparently it keeps the demons at bay. So that's a plus, but this finger, hurts so much already. That doesn't bode well. I'm gonna put a glove on. This is giving me huge reminders of when I made those hats out of straw. It feels very similar. <laughs> Hopefully this will work. In fact, you can even see, I think I might've used the same glove cause I, that right there is kind of rubbed through. So we're gonna try the first row. Here we go. The glove helped a lot with the constant rubbing on the fingers and I was also able to go just a bit faster.
So this is how you get carpal tunnel, <laughs> I see. So I have been having to take many breaks because I am so scared of giving myself like wrist issues and we are here. It must be that like this is not as stretchy or something as yarn, but it's not laying the way I quite want it to. So I think I'm gonna have to like make it into kind of like a turtleneck situation and then really start increasing here. A couple of points that I will say is this is quite different from crocheting yarn. It takes a lot more finger strength. I feel like things get caught a lot more, like the wire will get caught inside itself and it's much less forgiving when it gets caught. And also I have not tried to take these out. I'm assuming that this would be brutal to like take out if you mess it up. So a couple times that I have messed up, I've just kind of moved on and forgot about it. Because I don't, I don't think it's possible to take this out. The thing I will say though, I think this looks really cool. I think this looks really unique. I think it kind of looks like chainmail, but also not. Kind of like a magical version of chainmail, which is what I was hoping. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm just having to take pretty long breaks um, and like make sure that I'm stretching out my wrists and my fingers but to stay safe and not injure myself because I. I do tend to do that. When I first started, I actually didn't think this looked that good. I was like, uh-oh, is this gonna be ugly? But as I've gone more and more, I do think it's kind of getting a pretty cool look to it. Like it's definitely not this perfect uniform look like I feel like chainmail usually gives. It's got its own look, but I think I kind of like it. Let's keep going once I've taken another break. <laughs> so I have finished the first spool. Thankfully I bought three, which might be the perfect amount. <laughs> I have gotten this far. I'm gonna try it on real quick so you can see. There is a little extra. <laughs> I went too far and now it's kind of making a ruffle, which at the beginning, oh. which at first I didn't like, but as I've been looking at it more, I think that could actually be kind of fun for a design choice. Very like Renaissance rough inspired. So I think I'm gonna keep going with this ruffly bottom. And then I think for my little gauntlets, I'm gonna turn them into like little gauntlets with a little ruffle at the bottom. I, this isn't supposed to be anything but completely decorative, so like, just go for it, right? <laughs> so we are now on to the second spool. Cool. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> Since you guys see this mirror all the time on my videos, I thought I would just quickly show you how we upcycled it recently. So here was the design plan, this sort of sweet kind of Regency or Rococo inspired mirror. So the shutters got taken off by dad, our resident carpenter. Just kidding, he's not a carpenter, but he is free. He said we needed to leave some of the old wood on. So we added some trim on top of the old wood. My mom and I then started painting with this really pretty light blue color that she mixed up. We finished it off with some lime wax, which I didn't show, but this turned out so pretty and you will get to see the result of this at the end. I finished the collar piece and started working on the gauntlet pieces, starting with a few inches where it was just fitted to my wrist and then quickly increasing to make that ruffle. And now it is time to show you the final result.
am so happy. Do they look exactly like armor? Uh, they look armor adjacent, I suppose. One of these days I'd like to go out and like buy like a melon or a pumpkin and actually like pin the chain mail to it and see if it would withstand anything with a knife. I've seen people do that on like YouTube shorts where they show you how chain mail works and I wanna do that with this and see if it would actually maybe perhaps work in battle. That wasn't the purpose of it, but now that I've made it, it's, it's kind of a thought. So look for that short coming up in the future, maybe. I'm pretty happy with this. It's one of those projects where I'm just so happy it's done because <laughs> my wrists and my hands were really starting to hurt towards the end. That's always a scary feeling when your hands and fingers really start to hurt. So I'm glad it's over. I love that I did the copper. I think that was a great color choice. Um, I just feel like this looks like, I don't know, like elven armor, magical armor, you know, something that you would see in a fantasy series or in a fantasy book. By the way, was not quite sure where to put this in this video. So many of you guys answered my last question in my last video about like ideas of what things you would like to see me make, which I'm just so grateful for that. You guys did such a good job. The one thing that you guys probably already know, so I'm just like reiterating this, is that I thrift most of my fabric and that tends to take anywhere from four to six months. So while I loved so many of your ideas, just know that it's gonna take a few months for me to get any of them up and running. <laughs> but I have already started Pinterest boards. I've already started researching for so many of your all's ideas. You guys did such a good job. And if you have any more, even like paintings or like illustrated books, like people weren't just giving me movies and TV show ideas. And I think that was awesome. So if there's anything, anything you've ever seen that you would like me to kind of take my own thing and do with it, once again, put it down in the comments. I'll probably be reminding you of this every so often just in case you have any new ideas. But that is going to be it for me this week. If you had a good time watching, be sure to like and subscribe and comment. Those things really help me out. And I hope to see you back here next time. Bye.